Good morning, how are you doing? I am feeling slightly worse for wear today. I'm not gonna lie. I think the past couple of weeks of having a lot of fun have definitely come back to bite me. But I'm putting some makeup on today and uh, hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best in many aspects of my life because I'm also hoping that this foundation is a decent match. I haven't been tanning as much apart from the mishap on my hands that occurred yesterday. I've been finding it really hard to find the best match for my skin. I've literally used up all of the YSL bottles of Touche Eclat that I had in my stash. I think I had about four or five at the start of this year and I just love that foundation so much. I've used it all up. So I need to order some more. But today we are going with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade six and hoping for the best. I actually think this is a good, this is a good match. I love this foundation. It's actually very, very good. Kind of similar to Touche Eclat, but I would say it sets differently. Just slightly less dewy. I've been feeling really run down for about a week now. It's just literally that feeling of like not feeling great, but nothing happens. It's kind of annoying because you can't get away with having a sick day because you're not actually ill uh, and you work from home. So you have to keep carrying on. But it's fine, I went to m and on my way home this morning and I bought loads of like really nice food for when you're like not feeling great. So like lots of soup, lots of veggies. So my diet is having a sick day, but uh, my body is not. I'm also on a fresh Fenty concealer. This one is a different shade. It's meant to be darker, but it looks lighter. That's not confusing at all. But yeah, today I am just at home. I have a lot of projects to crack on with the planning stages and admin for. I said to myself after November I was done and unless dream jobs came in, I wasn't going to do any like brand work. I was gonna do other work, but like focus on my own projects. And uh, I knew as soon as I said it that the universe would send me some good jobs <laughs> and it did. So this December is not gonna be the uh, fun festive month that I thought it would be yet. Okay, this base, I'm gonna have to switch my foundation of choice because my skin today, it looks so good. It looks so good. Also, do you like my little cardi I'm wearing today? I dug it out of my wardrobe. I think I got it off ASOS last year, but it was a little mango number. It's got real Chanel, like Chanel slash Marge vibes, which I love. I actually just placed a pretty big order from them because they have so much cute stuff at the moment. And hopefully if we're really lucky that will arrive in this vlog. <laughs> actually been doing a lot of shopping for some winter I'm gonna say winter pieces rather than winter essentials but some of it was winter essentials recently there's been a few gaps in my wardrobe that I really wanted to fill so I will take you through some of those purchases today and as they arrive just like real classic items and I'm really excited for some of them to arrive there's one thing that I've purchased I've purchased it on Vestiaire which I haven't been having the best luck with I would say over the past like year or so so we'll see if this item actually gets shipped I've been finding over the past year a lot of the time I buy things and then the sellers like cancel after I've bought the item and it's really sad when that happens but hopefully that won't happen with this one so I'm hoping this time around my luck will be back but I'll show you what it is I picked up anyway <laughs> So this is what I envisioned my eyeliner looking like when I started. This is what I effed up on this side. my finished makeup for the day. Please ignore my hair because we were on last day hair and it was either a hat or curl it and hope for the best. But yeah, I've gone for a little bit more of a heavier eye today, a little bit more 60s, kind of cute. I think I like it. Don't really wear eyeliner as thick as this anymore, but I feel like this time of year you can get away with it. I definitely feel better for just having put some makeup on. So good start to the day. To go with the makeup, we're having a little 
Jimmy Choo day. I feel like this one fits the today's makeup mood and outfit. It's like fun, cute, real like girly vibes, you know? So this is my outfit of the day. We've got my mango cardi, as I said earlier. I've got my All Saints leather look leggings i was gonna go for my proper leather trousers and put a cute like waist belt but just in case i unbox anything and i'm sat down on the floor with you these just have a lot more give they're much more comfy to literally just like get on the floor sit cross-legged in some gorgeous fluffy slippers yeah that is the vibe my earrings are from and other stories i believe and then i've just got my usual silver rings on the top one is from pandora and the bottom one is from a random jewelers my nan got me this ring when i was about 13. yeah that is what i am wearing today might put a little bit of jewelry on you know yeah let's do that oh my god it's absolutely arctic in this bathroom one of the reasons i wish i hadn't bought a house that was already done up is that i didn't have any control over how things were done and this is a room that needs some like more heating or some underfloor heating the renovators obviously didn't want to spend like a ton of money makes sense if i ever get to redo this bathroom I'll be putting in some more heating. So this necklace, this top one is from Raimi and then this one is from Minimalist Boutique. I really like them. They both have like the similar kind of like clover shapes. They go really, really nicely together. Also, isn't the living room looking delicious? This room is such a dream. I can't believe that this time last year I didn't even have shutters in this room. It's come a long way in the past year and a half, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. The tree is just looking a treat so yeah really happy with the tree if you haven't watched my vlog of me decorating it like i do every year i will link it but i actually have a little something to do over here this morning i have my beauty advent calendar for the year and i actually have two thingies to unbox two days two days to unbox so this is the space and k advent calendar i can already see number two here oh my god how am i meant to do these i really make you work for it Number two. Oh, number one is huge, right, okay. I need those little, like, holes, the little slots. You see what I meant about sitting cross-legged on the floor? Okay, so day number one of the Space and Cake advent calendar. Oh, oh, that is good. That is a good day one. So we've got the CEO Glow Serum from Sunday Riley. I love Sunday Riley so much. And then the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum as well. I think this is a mini. Oh my God. That's such a good day. Lift your mood and your lashes with this volumizing super stretch formula. It's pink. <gasps> okay, day two. Also very good. Is it gonna be all downhill from here or is it gonna be amazing? Also got my white company pine scented candle on again. I am obsessed with this. So in here it smells like the best Christmas tree you've ever smelled. And as you come through to the kitchen, it smells like a vanilla dream. This All Saints candle, this is the Metal Wave one. It is incredible. It smells so good and don't they just look so chic. The other day I had this and the Pine one on together in the same room and they were just beautiful. Oh, and I thought I'd quickly show you my food that I picked up from M&S because I was feeling sorry for myself with my little sore throat, so I thought I'd treat myself. I've got some Cashew Max just to have in the fridge when Ryan finishes football, that kind of vibe, like quick meal. I also saw these and really couldn't, I just couldn't resist. I just love any kind of pig in a blanket. But then also these, I think this is gonna be my dinner tonight. Potato pies with truffle flavor. Ah, yum. I also got some grapes because I love them when I'm not feeling well, but also this time of year, I just sit and pick at them with vegan cheese and it is incredible. And then we have my tomato and basil soup. Do you know what? It was impossible to find a vegan soup, honestly. <laughs> I think this was the only vegan soup on the shelf in M&S. They're really doing me day. I got the olives just because I love their olives. If you ever see this tub in M&S, you have to buy it. They are the best olives I've ever had. And then the San Francisco style sourdough, the best one, the best one. And I went in early in the morning, so I got a fresh one and oh, it's gonna be delish. Okay, so just quickly before we lose all the light today, because the sun is already incredibly low, as you can probably see, it's hitting my face at a wonderful angle. I've been doing a little bit of shopping for winter pieces and the first item, the first items are out of sheer desperation for the fact that it has suddenly got very, very cold in the UK. And we are set to have a very cold winter. You can feel it already. And I got my black Zara puffer out the other day and the colour has just completely disappeared off the collar. It looks so, like, it's fine for just, like, throwing on if you don't want to, like, look 
nice but it's not it's not looking cute i severely regret missing out on the black friday discount for the all saints long black puffer coat their coats are so warm and i do have the white one but i would like a black one just so i can make my outfits look a little bit more smart so i went to misguided because they have an abundance of puffers but i'm not holding out hope so i may go into an all saints store tomorrow and see if they have any of the coat that i wanted in my size it will be a lot more expensive but i know the quality will be good and i will be very very warm but we'll see how we get on with these this black puffer comes with a belt which i really like it's very like prada vibes honestly if i wasn't planning on making some really bougie life changes next year i would go for the prada one but we've got to rein it in sometimes we have a hood i like really like the fact that this one has a hood because my zara one didn't and my all saints one also doesn't my white all saints one it doesn't have a hood so this is very practical but this will look so cute with like the leggings that i'm wearing now or just a plain pair of leggings and then my little fendi boots i think this would look very very cute this this might do just don't know how much it's going to hold up against the cold whereas i know that the all saints one really does but i would be happy with that I also ordered another one that's much longer. Now, I always thought I'd look like a caterpillar in one of these. However, my friend Carla, who is like my whole entire life inspiration, if I'm very, very honest, she has one of these and manages to not look like a caterpillar. So I'm going to roll with this and see how I get on. Ooh. Again, it has a hood, which I really like. I actually think I prefer the way the hood is structured on this one. Well, this is causing problems. I can't put the hood up. That's annoying. This one feels like it fits a bit better it feels a bit warmer i'm not sure about the length though the length is okay it's okay i will style these up for you so you can see them hopefully how i see them in my head hopefully what i am envisioning in my head matches up to what they actually look like but i also have a couple of other bits some winter essentials that i picked up from amazon every so often it really comes through now i've been saying so long now so literally everyone in my life basically backstory i sorry my hair is doing things i have rainoids is that how you say it rainoids syndrome where basically your circulation is not doing the doing that it's meant to be doing and my hands and feet and sometimes other parts of my body just start going white like they start having like white patches and i just can't really like use my hands properly and it tends to happen for me when there's a real sudden shift between being warm and being cold so if i like get out of bed in the morning that always kind of like triggers it or if i leave the house it will then be triggered and i find it really difficult because not a lot of people understand it so like sometimes i'll like be talking about it and i'm like no you don't understand i literally like it's not just my hands are cold i actually feel like i can't feel them and it actually does spike my anxiety a little bit as well because that's not a nice feeling it makes me feel like something is wrong which i would say is probably a correct guess that my brain is making so i have a pair of gloves from all saints they're like a pair of ca cashmere gloves they're quite long so you can have them go quite far up your arm which for my circulation i find is really beneficial however i end up always taking them off when i'm walking because if someone calls me i can't pick up my phone or i can't like text back to something and if i'm like on a walk but i'm doing like a work call but i'm also like needing to be messaging and emailing it just doesn't allow me to multitask and that i find quite difficult because i'm a real multitasker so i've been saying for ages to literally anyone that would listen about how i would like a pair of cashmere gloves but that have touch screen and apparently these gloves that i have found on amazon are cashmere touch screen gloves and i am so i was so excited i bought two pairs i bought one in this kind of like beigey color these are actually huge one in this beigey color they fit on the fingertips but they just look like a really funny shape at the top but yeah i bought one in this like beigey dusky i don't even know what this is cute neutral beige tone and then i bought a black pair because you need to have a black pair okay where's my phone i need to test this hang on can i use my oh i can use my camera screen that's so cool. Okay, great. This is good. So excited about that because that is the one thing that I've been really struggling with. My All Saints ones just aren't touch screen. I literally can't use them. I also then saw this pair. They came up for me when I was searching for gloves. These ones really remind me of the ones that my mum would wear when I was a kid when she was driving. And I just used to look at her and be like, oh God, she's so uncool. But now I am older and I have the same syndrome as her. I fully understand why. <laughs> but also thanks mum for handing this lovely little condition down to me so these are like leather so quite grippy which i thought would be good for driving they're apparently touchscreen as well but they have this lovely 
faux fur lining. They're quite fitted. I mean, I have very small hands, so I can't remember if you bought these in certain sizes. Oh my God, what are the fingers on these? <laughs> uh, Rowan's gonna get a real kick out of this. I thought these ones would maybe be better for like driving in. We will see. I just wanted to see what I would get on with the best of oh, these actually feel really nice so yeah that is my little practical haul i also have something very quickly i wanted to unbox with you this is for a work project but i just couldn't not show you this little unboxing okay are you ready so i have a little project coming up with one of my favorite brands oh my god these boxes are so gorgeous so I'm gonna open that one second because that one doesn't make sense without, I think, this one. And I need you to understand the vision. These boxes today are really doing me dirty. The amount of times I've almost lost a nail. Okay. Oh my God. This is so exciting. This is my first Jimmy Choo shoe purchase. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't stop staring at them. Oh my god. How many of you are dying because I'm putting them next to a candle? Also really just screwing myself over because I've just put new shoes on the table, but we moved. So there is a look, there is a whole vibe that I'm doing for this project. And to go with the shoes. I picked up a bag, which just kind of completes the look, but the shoes are just, the shoes are it. It's just such a fun vibe. So we have the matching bag. Oh my God, it's so cute. I can't. Uh, if anyone wants to know what I'll be wearing this Christmas, those shoes, this bag, cute little outfit. Oh my God, it even has a bow on it. I love it. This is a real diversion from the practical winter haul that I have been doing, but I could not show you these because the project is like an instagram project so some of you won't have seen these pieces oh but it's, this bag is stunning it feels incredible that is so exciting and my kitchen is officially a tip again cool okay so this is the vibe for the shorts coat they're going to be the same but i've got my all saints leggings on and then my fendi boots my chanel black bag that would probably be how i would style this up and this one's nice i like the fact that it has the tie waist but it does look a little bit cheap, but not the worst. I'm glad the buckle is black. I think it's a little bit more discreet, but let me know. What do we think of this one? And then what do we think of the next one? And then this is the vibe for the longer coat. Please ignore the little tags just ruining my life. I'm really undecided on both of them. I might still go and have a little browse for coats like in person tomorrow. But the reason I really like these two from Misguided was because they came in petite. So I'm pretty sure I have both of these in a petite size eight. I will clarify in the info box for you but yeah the length on them is just slightly better than it would be if i were to buy a long all saints coat would be so very long on me most likely so i probably have to go for a shorter one from them but i was really excited about this one because i managed to get my hands on it in petite oh my god there's a tiny little there's a tiny little toy squirrel in between my legs <laughs> wow i do like this one it's very practical but I think we can make it bougie. Let me know your thoughts. Ah, so I take it back on my sizing. This one, the shorter one, is a petite size 10, which would explain why I felt like this one fitted better. This one is a petite size 6, and I would say the fit of this one, like, put it on. And I was like, yeah, this feels good. This feels like, like, it fits nicely. It's, like, snug on the wrists, which I really like, whereas this one felt a lot more loose everywhere. So, yeah, I think I might keep the longer one. I feel like the fit is better, but I really do like the belted style. Oh, my God. I also completely forgot that I had a H&M order that I wanted to show you guys. This is the same order where my black velvet bow came out of, and I completely forgot about it because I wanted the time in a vlog to sit down and show it to you. So, I've got a nice little grey hat this is not going with the vibes right now but i don't have a grey one and i thought this one would just be really nice for if i am wearing more of a grey outfit if i'm wearing something like this i've picked up something really really cozy and come on this is the vibe this is my like i'm not feeling too great vibe oh my god so we've got the most snuggly trousers in this gorgeous grey i got these in a size small oh my god these feel so soft they're 50 percent recycled polyester and i don't understand how they're that soft and then i also have the jumper to go with it oh, 
oh my god it feels so soft i'm changing into this i'm changing into this so i thought the beanie would look really cute if i was wearing like the jumper underneath like say a black coat or like a creamy white kind of coat grey beanie would like be really really cute and i also have another hair accessory this one i obviously wasn't as excited about as the bow because the bow came straight out of the order when it arrived and i basically haven't taken the bow off my head since but this one is a really gorgeous little black alice band susie tell us you're loving having long hair without telling us you're having long hair just thought it would be cute for crimbo you know crimbo <laughs> what's wrong with me <laughs> and then finally picked up this which is basically just a very long, very chic black cardigan. It almost looks like a more lightweight version of my mango cardigan, but obviously in the black. And I thought this would just be really gorgeous over winter, just thrown on over like an all black outfit. It could be a good one for whether I'm inside the house or outside. When it's more mild, I could probably wear this out. But I also think it would just be gorgeous thrown over some like comfy clothes inside during the winter to keep me warm. So a nice like snuggly practical one. Shame it's not softer, but I do think that the fact that it is, I don't know if it's cotton, I'm not sure it's probably recycled polyester yeah i do think the fact that it's not like a super snuggly like brushed cotton and it's not really really fluffy just makes it look a little bit more smart so that is really gorgeous i'm going to show you the loungewear set now just because i really want to put it on and i'll show you the cardigan as well yeah i really like this it's really lovely and smart it will look even better once i've put it up to hang and the creases have kind of dropped out of it yeah as you can see i've just thrown it on with a long sleeve well you can't really see but i've thrown it on with a long sleeve a black top and then i've got my leather look leggings on with it and it just looks really nice if i need to pop out in the car i can just keep this on obviously without the socks and slippers <laughs> so yeah a really nice one for if i just need to run out quickly but it looks nice and smart whilst i'm working from home as well like i could do a zoom call really easily with this on and not feel like i'm in my pajamas but still feel really really comfortable <laughs> These are not a size small in any way, shape or form. I've literally had to like tie the string as far as it will go without this all like bunching up to actually get this to like fit my waist and look at the crutch. These are hilarious, but very, very comfy. I got these in a size small and I could definitely have done with smaller. My God, you guys, I think this is the comfiest I've ever been. You could give the top a little tuck if you wanted to, but to be honest, I'm happy with all the cozy warm vibes and like leaving it open or tucking it into the trousers. Could also be cute yeah i'm just here for the cozy comfy vibes to be honest should have added this into the video that i'm uploading tonight because this is truly what i will be wearing this christmas <laughs> once i've turned up to all of the social things that we do on christmas day i will then be excusing myself to go to the bathroom and i will then emerge like this <laughs> managed to bunk off for a little afternoon walk and uh, it is very cold. I can't feel my chin right now, but the new coat is doing well. I couldn't resist keeping this one. It just did look very cozy. I hope you can hear me because it's a little bit uh, breezy down here today, but it's looking so gorgeous. I think I might catch the sun as it starts setting and I think it's going to be really pretty. Oh my god, I almost forgot to address, which is probably very obvious by the time this vlog goes live, but I have decided to, I will still vlog this Christmas, but I'm not doing vlogmas like extra uploads this year. I'm going to do it next year because I think there will just be a lot more going on next year and hopefully in the new year I'll be able to like tell you stuff i hope <laughs> but there's a lot of um things changing in my personal life at the moment so this christmas is like super low-key i'm not really doing much and it's very busy with really boring things but next christmas i think is going to be so fun so i'll be participating in vlogmas 2022 but yeah still doing all the fun things in the videos this december like ryan and i still have little things that we want to do in the vlogs that are like festive like recipes from things we made last year but just no super like extra content this year we're keeping it low-key and it'd be like that sometimes so yeah to finish my vlogmas ted talk i will be with you on a monday and a thursday i'm pretty sure very religiously fingers crossed this month monday thursday there should be at least one vlog a week if not two so tune in hope you enjoy it and i'll be hitting you with all of the videos next christmas and i'll let your imagination run wild with what christmas could look like for me next year just go nuts go nuts you won't be guessing it though we might
I don't know, I feel like Christmas next year looks very different and a lot more fun, so yeah, fun times this year, but fun times next year. So I have just arrived home to a little Monica Vineda parcel. I treated myself to something in the Black Friday sale. I treated myself to two things, this and then Kerastase shampoos. Whilst they were basically like, I think like eight pounds off. I got this gorgeous bangle. It's got like a row of diamonds across the top of the bangle. And then it's like a rose gold on the bottom. I thought it would go really nicely on the wrist that I wear my Apple Watch on. Please excuse my hair. It's a bit of a mess and I am so sniffly. So I got a size small. I'm hoping that's gonna be okay. You know when you're like, how small are my wrists? But I can confirm, this small. That's so nice. I love that. Such a nice treat. I love Monica Veneta stuff. Okay, now I need to upload tonight's video and then run my errands. I decided to do my errands in the dark because no point in wasting daylight. <laughs> Sunday. I haven't seen you for a few days. I'm so sleepy this morning. I think I slept from 10 till 10 basically. <laughs> I'm very very sleepy this morning. I've got this really cute pajama set on though. Um, I found these in my drawer. I think I was gifted them so long ago but they're like a navy with a pink stripe. So this is probably what I'll be wearing uh, for the rest of the festive season. I'm really obsessed with this. I actually haven't been home in a few days so we need to do my Space and K advent calendar. I don't actually know what the date is. I think it might be the 5th today. So I think I've got a few to open. Do you want to help? Do you want to help? So on the 3rd it said, channel hairs inner strength and let this restorative treatment work magic, which I bet is Olaplex. Yeah. This advent calendar has been a very good one so far. If you have the money to spend on a like, good advent calendar next Christmas, I would recommend Number four, well, I would recommend so far, I'm only three days in. <laughs> it could get worse. I don't think it will though. We have the Dr. Barbara Strum Hyaluronic Serum. I love a Hyaluronic Serum, you can't really go wrong with that. That's a good one for traveling as well. And then I think I have, is it the fifth? Hello, could you tell me? Fifth, yeah, okay. We have the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Peeling. Daily peels, the little peely sheets, I think. Yeah. That's so good. Oh. You can get a lot in there. I'm actually really, like, obviously I'm on day five, but I'm impressed. I think this has actually been the best year yet for the calendar. Like, you're getting, like, decent, really decent minis. Oh my god, I also forgot to tell you guys my vestiaire order. I need to turn this down a little bit. Oh my face, I look like an egg. Um, my Vestio order has been accepted. The seller has shipped my item. So I'm gonna show you. Can I show you? I'm gonna see if I can show you on my phone what I ordered. By the way, if you're using Vestio, I highly recommend the app because it's so much better than the ones on it. That's all I'm giving you. That is all I'm giving you. This low quality <laughs> idea of the hat I've ordered, um, but I'm so, so excited. So a nice practical yet bougie item for the winter. I can't wait for that to arrive. Chef Ho is in the kitchen this morning. What is this? Good morning. Uh, it is pesto and tomatoes on toast. Mmm. It looks really yummy. Adding hummus? Yeah. Oh. I have opted out breakfast this morning because I'm going to be having a vegan camembert for lunch. A nice early lunch because we're going out for dinner I think. So I'm really looking forward to having that. Um, basically just going to make sure I'm super hungry for it because I don't know if you're partaking in the camembert but I could end up mm. eating the whole thing myself um, it, yeah Ryan's not the biggest lover of like vegan cheese or just like cheese it's more like dipping creamy cheese yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not camembert. camembert's not meant to be creamy though it's meant to be like gooey yeah mm. but anyway I could end up eating the entire thing on my own so I'm just giving breakfast um this looks so good though Look at that. Right, I've had to banish Ryan to the other room because he's making too much noise with his reels. But look what arrived yesterday. I honestly, like, 
I can't. I was so excited by this. I get sent some cool things, but for some reason, this one really got me. It's gonna be good Christmas, you guys. I'm so excited. Look at this, this is so cool. Gosh, you guys, I just went to sort the box out because I sadly was gonna have to recycle it and I was really sad because it's such a gorgeous box, but look. What are the chances they're vegan? <laughs> Very small, but still, oh my God. This is incredible. This is actually such a nice gift idea. I haven't yet got my manager's gifts, so this could be quite a good idea for this Christmas. What do we think? God, you guys, this vial of cheese is unreal. If you like camembert, you need to get your hands on this. It's so good. Um, I've actually just made a little video on how I made this, so it will appear on the internet in some way. I don't know how yet, but we will. a good one yes love that okay great good start to the day good morning good morning it is actually barely morning i'm just about scraping through saying that i've had a very productive monday morning so far got a lot of things organized which is making my soul happy because sometimes when there's a lot of things going on and a lot of plates spinning it stresses me so um i've actually spent the morning working on this rail this is uh some festive content that i'm going to be bringing to you on instagram and i'm so excited for this. I actually have gone so far in the planning of this that I think I might have to make two videos because there are so many outfits. <laughs> but I'm so, so excited to get started on that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I didn't end up vlogging a lot yesterday afternoon. I ended up being dragged out. And um, yeah, it was, it was a really fun evening. Ryan was driving, I ended up drinking his shots and my shots that the restaurant brought us. And uh, yeah, didn't really realize how good of a time I was having until I was in the car home having a really deep chat. And I was just like mid the most dramatic statement I've ever made. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I'm really drunk. Um, so yeah, that's why you didn't hear much from me last night. Um, but I'm actually feeling very fresh this morning despite not sleeping because I was thinking about all of the projects that I have going on. Like it was just going round and round in my head. But despite that, I'm actually feeling very, very fresh. So um, yeah, it's been a good day so far. This morning I have just got on a, I think this is a Zara body, and then I've got my Zara leather look trousers on, my slippers and socks as usual, and then for jewellery I have some Monica Vinader tiny little hoops, just keeping it really simple, and my minimalist boutique uh, necklace, usual rings, all of that. Um, and before I forget, just in case I have... And before I forget, just in case I haven't said in the vlogs and you guys are wondering, uh, the shade on my nails at the moment is the Gel Bottle Jam. It's a really cute shade name and uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. And on my lips today, as per usual, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in Naked. It's just my favourite shade for like an everyday look. Um, I also did some drunk shopping last night. I was meant to be editing this vlog. I was editing this vlog and then I was like, God, I really need to get um like a new bronzer because my bronzer is like running out and i wanted to get a refill for my charlotte tilbury one some of you may some of you may remember i broke it and uh ended up on the charlotte tilbury website has anyone ever watched the wolf of wall street because i swear i need like his dad in my life to come and like shout at me but um yeah there will be a charlotte tilbury haul coming up i also bought a lot of other i just bought so much honestly you'll see in the next few vlogs it's wild. Um, I shouldn't be allowed near a laptop when I have had shots. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah. If you want to see my drunk shopping haul, let me know in the comments. Also, look at these sparkly outfits, aren't they? Just amazing. Um, the reel, I think, will be live next Monday. So go over to my Instagram, give me a follow. But yeah, I am so excited. <laughs> I just 
editing this vlog, I had to take a little break because my eyes were going square and I've actually ended up doing a little bit of rearranging in my bedroom because I have the itch, <laughs> that sounds really weird, I have the itch to do things to my house. Well, I shouldn't. I'm going to talk to you about this in an upcoming vlog. I need to talk to you about this. I just don't know how much I want to tell you yet. I really just want to like tell you the whole shebang. That is a chat for another day. Just need to figure out what I want to say to you guys. But um, yeah, feeling really itchy. So I thought I'd take a break from editing today's video. Ended up rearranging my dresser. Me and my alarm clock radio backstory have fully broken up. It goes off and I just lie in bed until I actually really need to get up. Um, I'm just not an early morning person. I just lie there enjoying staring at the ceiling until I actually really need to get up. Um, and it just feels kind of pointless because I actually would prefer to sleep for that extra hour. <laughs> it's not really helping me. I don't get any more done getting up an hour earlier in the morning so we're, we've broken up imagine if i titled this vlog we've broken up and i'm actually talking about my alarm clock radio so i wanted to put it somewhere else uh where i'd actually use it just as a regular radio um so i've created this new little moment if you will so backstory this is my dresser you will have seen it many times before i actually really want to get a new lamp again itchy shouldn't touch that but yeah this is where my alarm clock radio used to be there used to be a black book here but i've swapped it out for this dior catwalk book just to soften this area. I feel like my house needs a little bit of softening at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of popped a few little fragrancy bits in its place. I've got the Diptyque Bays room fragrance, which is just incredible. My fireside um, diffuser, I've just nicked this from the hallway just for styling purposes, but I have about six of them backed up. So I will just crack out a fresh one. I'll probably pop the fresh one in the hallway and keep this one in here because my sense of smell goes wild at night and I will be able to smell a fresh one of these. Um, I can never have a fresh diffuser in my bedroom. And then a Diptyque rose candle, a little bit of rose quartz. I've tidied up the fragrance area, which is great because Ryan has started sneaking his bits in here, this honestly is my favorite fragrance on him. It smells so good. Um, he has one here and one at his house, which not complaining because he smells delicious, but um, yeah, I've had a little tidy up over here because it was a bit of a full house. Um, but yeah, these are all of my favorite fragrances for winter. It's a cute little moment. Yes, we need stuff on the walls. Yes, it's very bare, but like I said, not touching the house. Whenever I end up online shopping, I always end up looking at like pieces for my home as well. And I'm having to just have real restraint. <laughs> Honestly, I've been quite wild by myself restraint lately. Like how many new things, home things, have I actually bought this year for like the house? No. Mm. But that is a story for another day. And that is where I leave you today because otherwise I will carry on vlogging and this video will never go up. Well, I really need to do my hair blow dried it the other night and uh, just haven't really done anything to it since. It's that time of year where I only look super glam when I have to so my hair is just not being touched at the moment. I have a hair appointment on Wednesday and I'm excited <laughs> to have someone do my hair who isn't me. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. I am getting to the point where I can't speak properly so I'm, I'm off. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.